Good morning on Ashtami. We couldn't finish few of the planned pujas that we wanted to cover on Shaptami, so because it was so crowded. So Ashtami, we are finishing off a few more puja in South Kolkata, and we are at Tridhara. I'm sure you can hear the dhak in my background, and we are at Tridhara puja in South Kolkata, and this is one of the very few very interesting, very colorful pujas that you don't need to enter a hall. It's open air, so we came to visit this. Have a look at this. Obviously, during night time, the lights will change the whole atmosphere significantly. But nevertheless, still, I'm glad to share this with you. Look at the structure, the decoration. It's very unique. Tridhar is one of my favorite pujas every time I come to Kolkata. Beautiful, isn't it? Let me walk through once again just to cover the mondo and decoration. It's just fascinating. From Tridhara, we came to Deshupriya Park. Obviously, Deshupriya Park is one of the most important puja in South Kolkata, famous for that uh, massive, gigantic Durga Pratima a few years back, which had like 12 storied height. This time, it has got a different view. The structure looks like a pagoda. That's the entrance to the hall. Today, it's Ostomi, and they are doing Ostomi puja. Look at the Durga Pratima, it's beautiful. It's almost like hand painted. And look at the interior decoration, it's also very stunning. We are going to Badam Tala Puja and this is one of the famous puja and so this is Sunday morning Ashtami and we are walking through a street market, extremely busy street market. We call it Bajar, local Bajar. The time that I have seen Badam Tala decorations, they have been always extraordinary. So let's find out how this year's puja has been. On our way to Badamtala Puja, we found another puja in the middle of the way and look at this puja, it's smaller one but it looks stunning. This is a smaller puja on the way to the Badamtala Puja and I just stopped because the interior decoration is just stunning. They use plant materials to cover the whole ceiling and interior 
and it looks really amazing. They use different parts of palm trees. We call tal gach and tal pata. And the Durga Pratima looks stunning. Before Badam Tala, we actually came across another puja of Cheshurti Polli. Look at the exterior of this pandal. Looks like Durga's head upside down. That's the use as the top of the pandal and it's quite innovative. Finally, we are arriving at the Badam Tola Puja and uh, I think first view, it's just stunning. It has got very strong theme and we need to understand what it is. But either way, we'll just take some photographs and share with you guys. Looks like a lot of trees and there is a pathway underneath, huge trees covering the whole road. Wow! This Durga is just fascinating. This Pratima looks like she is in action. She is in the war with Oshur. And it's underneath this huge canopy of trees. It's dark time because the war is going on. And they have used some reflective materials on the other side, on the right hand side, to create an illusion. And in the back as well. Look at the children of Durga. They are also participating in the war, helping their mother. That's the Ushu they are trying to kill. Look at Durga's eyes and the bows and arrows. It's just stunning expression. Look at the expression of the lion. Lion is also participating, very much in action. The structure of the trees and the canopy is just extraordinary. I wonder how long it took and how much material they needed to build all these structure, interconnected structure and trees to make the whole panel. Obviously, we are covering some of the big pujas, the, the important one and the most the gorgeous one. But if you come across all the localities, there are having Durga pujas. In my background, there is a small one. There are a few more pujas in South Kolkata that we would like to cover and uh, today we are at uh, Selimpur Puja. It's very close to where we live. Look at Arunima and she is wearing traditional shari instead of traditional jeans and tops, Australian tops. And we would like to cover three pujas in this region as part of this South Kolkata Pujas and Ashtami. This is probably the best entrance that we have seen so far. It's a traditional way of doing Durga Puja in Selimpur. And they always have this walkway before arriving at the Puja Mondo, the centerpiece. And you can watch the Durga Pratima. Look at the design. It's all hand-painted. <laughs> Look at this design. This is Durga's third eye. B. 
beautifully decorated, very innovative. That's Durga's third eye and they have used that concept as the ceiling of this mandop. Even the walkway has this third eye concept. Idol is just beautiful. From the Selimpur Puja, we came to Jodhpur Park and look at my background. This decoration is all about eyes. I was talking about third eye of Durga and now we have got a lot of eyes. And now is the main hall, the main area. Look at these mirrors and these eyes. That's their vision, that's their theme. So many eyes are surrounding us. 360 degree views, you can only see eyes. But they're not allowing us to go in this morning. So we have to watch Durga Pratima from outside. As usual, brilliantly done and well crafted, beautiful. From Jodhpur Park, we came to Pachanabboi Poli or 95 Polis Puja and it's going to be also very interesting. This 95 Polis Puja is going to be our last stop in South Kolkata. We have been covering some of these best pujas in South Kolkata over last three days. Today is Navomi morning as the day after Ashtomi. Look at the structure, it's so different from what you have seen so far, all the pujas. It's made with full of bamboo. All these structures, these pillars and these columns are made with bamboo. Let's walk through the amazing mandop. This is quite spacious as well. Look at this centerpiece, so complex structure, it's almost like lattice and it is all made with bamboo sticks, different size and shape and look at the Durga Pratima, it's also very nice, very beautiful, amazing, amazing setup, so different, beautiful and our traditional dhaki with dhaki is sitting there, at the moment quiet because they have very busy evening and afternoon. Look at the portraits, they have created these portraits as like impression you have to at a distance to feel those paintings these are like impressionist paintings so this is going to be our last stop in south kolkata puja porikrama hope you enjoyed this extraordinary trip with us we have been covering so many pujas in south kolkata over the last three days and please enjoy this video and other videos on our channel